Transformers The Last Night For all of the Bayformers timeline this movie is the most controversial movie of all time. This movie gained a lot of hate and critics after it was released in cinemas. In fact, it only has a lifetime gross of 130 million US dollar, the smallest gross earnings of the whole Bayformers franchise. What have I done? In this video let me share to you my thoughts if what if Transformers The Last Night become a successful movie that time. Hi guys at Formers is here. Just like what I'm saying, what if Transformers The Last Night become successful that time? Should we get another movie? The continuation of this? My thought is yes, since there's a lot of question left in the end of this movie, especially in the end when they finally reveal Unicron. He is in the Earth sleeping it mean to say that this movie is not supposed to be the end of this timeline. In case you didn't know I'm also a fan of this rumors that after the Transformers The Last Night, the next part should be the Transformers Rise of Unicron, which Unicron will be rise since he is already on Earth. My theory is the next movie for this has the similarity to the Transformers movie release on 1986. Since you can see here that in the Transformers The Last Night, they show us the Unicron, Hotrid or Rodimus Prime and Optimus Prime already has the Matrix on his chest. So if Rise of Unicron happened, they gonna defeat him the way the Transformers movie defeat him. Which Prime give the Matrix of leadership to Rodimus Prime before his death and Rodimus use it to defeat the Unicron. I hope you like this theory. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hey, fools.